In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make podcast clips using AI. All right, let's go. Cool, so the tool we're gonna be using is free. It's called Swell AI. Swell AI is a basically a content repurposing tool. So once you sign up for free, uh, you'll be dropped into a dashboard that looks like this. Um, within that dashboard, you can upload a episode uh, into the project and then uh, it's going to basically transcribe that mp4 so that video that you upload is going to transcribe um, and then um, you can highlight a section and this is where it gets super cool and I can then hit this clip button and it's going to just I can just create a clip right based off that so if I go to the clips tab now uh, you're going to see uh, all these clips that it's generating you can make an unlimited amount of clips uh, that's what's I think the most awesome about this uh, is basically like once it's in there, I can just repurpose this over and over again as much as I want. One of the other features that's really interesting and cool is they uh, basically highlight sections that they think are the most viral. Um, so it allows, it really just gives you kind of like, uh, you know, points at the sections that are, you should look at rather than having to go through the entire transcript and find things that are interesting. It gives you the points where yeah, it, the most viral moments are happening so that you can go in, um, I can click into that area and then I can just hit play and I can hear what it's been, you know, basically what's being said. And then from there, I can highlight that section, um, and, you know, the part that I like and I can uh, then go and again, create that clip. So hit clip, that flyout happens. I can slide these as well to increase or decrease uh, the, uh, like the words. Um, this allows for that kind of like fine tuning piece. And then uh, again, I hit create and that's crypt clip that's being created in the background. And you can see that one that we just did already is there. Um, it already basically is completed and I can hit download and that is now uh, available. Let me just show you what that looks like so you can actually see it. So that clip is available that 28 seconds um, and that took, you know, <laughs> a couple minutes basically to produce. Cool, so that's uh, one way to do it. Uh, another way that you can do it is you can go and use a free transcription tool, uh, something like a free podcast transcription. Um, this one is one I've been using lately. Uh, so basically what this allows for you to do is upload an audio file. And while you're doing that is you're, you're trying to find the sections uh, that you can go and edit. So I would go and I'd upload that MP3 into uh, into here. And once I have that transcription, um, I would then go over to something like Claude AI, which has a higher context limit. And let me pause while I log in. Awesome, once I'm logged in uh, to Claude, I can then take that transcript that I just had generated. I'm just gonna pull from Swell just cause it's, I already have it made so we save time. Um, we're gonna take that, I would go over into Claude and what I would, would say is prompted something like, find me uh, 10 viral uh, clips about LinkedIn. Um, I could like designate a keyword. Um, and then uh, the, uh, I would say something like uh, list timestamps or list start and stop timestamps uh, for the clip, for the viral clip you find you find and what that's going to do now is it's basically going to go and find clips from that episode and once i find those timestamps why i'm doing this in the first place is i'm basically trying to find those those viral moments so that i uh, know where i can go and basically edit the the podcast to find uh the the uh, you know the pieces that are going to be most interesting and you can see they do really short ones so sometimes you can say like uh the clips um must be multiple uh, sentences long as an example um, when I I found that when you just do tell it to do words it's not super good at, at really creating these um, so then what it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, basically expand those clips um, so that uh, it's like more uh, you know just more meat within the content and um, I'm just gonna even expand them further expand the clips even further and we'll prompt that as soon as that gets done. And then once I found these clips, the next thing I can do, the next free tool that I can incorporate is I can go to Vid.io and Vid.io um, allows me to upload video 
um, into, uh, into it. They have a free tier um, that allows for like a certain amount of upload time or per month. I think it's 30 minutes. Um, so you'll have to pull out like sections. Um, but basically I can then upload into Veed and uh, I can do the exact same thing. I uh, kind of did it swell where I pull out those clip sections based off of what the AI found. Um, the other thing that you could do, like just another option is use the same strategy but use another free uh, uh, software. Um, yeah, this is if you have a Mac specifically, use iMovie, you upload that entire MP4 into iMovie, and then go and find those sections as well. And really we're just using the AI uh, to like identify those, those key moments so that we don't have to go searching through, you know, all of that uh, information to uh, basically uh, find, you know, those most viral pieces. So once I've got those clips, I've created them and then I've downloaded them. The next thing that I would do is uh, if I was doing this for my own brand is I'd use a tool like later or some scheduling application. I'd upload those into it and I'd schedule that to Twitter or to Instagram or to TikTok or all of these places that I'm, I'm basically trying to uh, schedule uh, these posts. So as an example, if I was trying to do it to Twitter, I could do create post and then I could select that media file that I just pulled from and I would just upload that media file into here and that would schedule uh, that piece of content and then it'll publish it at that specific date. The other thing that I could do um, is uh, if I'm trying to get it on YouTube, you just upload those directly to YouTube. So you can upload all those clips simultaneously and then schedule them out uh, in the future. So you're doing one a day as an example. But Awesome. So that is the workflow on how to create uh, pot or clips for your podcast using AI. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to dive deeper and make another tutorial. Cheers.